Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagby here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we did some quests in Frontier Village. So it's like fighting, so it's like getting meat for the Ika so she could try to be hit upon and then beating up the monster she was going to go fight. Alright, and even choosing who would take over the pollen works. And in this episode, I've returned to Colony 6 because there's a few quests from Frontier Village. It involves us speaking to people here. I believe there's one or two of them. And also, I think we will advance the construction a little bit. Sadly, we won't be able to fully complete level 2 construction as I main, as I need an item that can only be found in the next area. But we'll see what it does, because I believe it should also open up a few quests for us. Now, first off, I need to... Is he a nighttime NPC? Because I don't see the Nopal we need to speak to. How's it going? Well, I'm never going to get out oh, with Mayu without your help. Thank you, it means a lot to me. Uh, where's the... <laughs> there is a notepad here I'm supposed to speak to. Where the hell is he? Is he night... not nighttime? Where does he spawn? Ooh, apparently he's right behind me. There you go, Satata. Satata know that smell? Friends carry secret no pun elixir? Friends got that back at Frontier Village. Am I wrong? Well, well then. Sh she remembers everything Satata taught her about our secret elixir. Tell her not to worry about me. She's capable of finding out secrets of Machna without me. Hello? Thank you a billion in news. Now, the keepsake is returned and my brother Pawn is at peace. I'm glad everything worked out. Take this gift as a thank you for me and my brother Pawn. You threw the cap out from the Divine Sanctuary so Tata's brother and his wife can rest in peace. You know? I, Satata, am famous inventor, but not invent anything lately. Not since I came back to Colony 6. All right. Let's talk to you, Juju. So let's... Fossil Monkey. Uh, is that something I need for my Collectopedia? Because if so, I'm going to have to look up where I can get that. Because I think that's a frontier. Yeah, it is. God damn it. I'll use it for the construction and then I'm going to have to look up where I can get it. Hopefully I can trade for it. If not, then yeah, this is not going to be fun for me to get. Housing levels increased by one. We've built five houses. All right. So for yeah, so for the next level house for level three housing, we need sturdy R and oil branch, which we can't get those for a while. Build more HQ. Build shops at the HQ. The more shops we have, the more people that will want to live here.
Performance levels increased by one. Free shops has been built. All right. And we can up nature. Build a flower garden. G garden? Garden. When the colony has reached the nature level three, the quality of ether crystals from the mine will improve. And I believe for special, we need the, yeah, sea berry, which we cannot get. Because I believe there, that can only be gotten in the next area. And no character, I believe, can currently trade for that. I'm just going to double check to make sure there isn't a trade for this thing. But I believe I cannot get this item yet. Yeah, no, there, yeah, because this item is exclu it can only be found in the next area, and the NPC that's willing to trade it is also in the next area, so I cannot get sea berries even if I wanted to. I believe almost all these items can only be gotten in the next one or two areas. Petma, make it home where Petma live with Daddy Pond and Mama Pond. But now Petma all alone, so sad. Hello. I know you can get a despair clover somewhere near a great sea. They're rare to air and hard to find, but you might I get lucky near buildings. Where do you find ice cabbages? Somewhere cold, silly. So yeah, if you actually talk to the residents here in Colony 6, they will actually give you hints on where to find some of the items. Yes. Now, the shops here that's in place don't sell anything good. I'm at, like I said, I don't think the shops here don't sell anything good until around level 4 or 5? I know you have to invest a fair bit in the colony before the shops start selling anything of worth of note. Wait. There are lots of hum hums here. Lots of nopon too. The Kokori happy happy. Maybe a new friends whisper to old friends about coming back. Also, I forget if I am at a point in the colony reconstruction where I can start inviting people into the colonies. Cut. We're going to be putting up streetlights all around. But first, we gotta restore more of the colony. You know, like houses, shops, special facilities, and nature. There's no point having lots of lights if there's no one around. What is it? So you have this shop, which again, doesn't sell anything worth noting. Yeah, a lot of it is shit compared to what we have. Uh, I could learn some of these art books. Like, Tempest Kick would actually be pretty good to have. Now, this shop, I believe, is a shop that's open at night, if I remember correctly. Like, these two stalls here. Yes. We need to think ahead if we want to attract more people. They'll be needing places to live and work, not to mention relax. Yeah, let me check, because I think these shops open at night. Or these shops don't open at all, so that must be belong to NPCs I need to invite into the colony. The colony is starting to look a bit better. Head to the farm, grab a few items, and then we'll head back into the frontier village. 
Okay, so while I'm doing this, it's set to auto run. Oh, hello. Didn't realize you guys could spawn up here on the farm. How good are we? Or I forgot you could. We win, but we mustn't be careless. Everyone do good. But we mustn't be careless. Ooh, there's actually a heart to heart over here. Who's the. Ooh, two heart to hearts, actually. Who do they belong to? Um, that one's not gonna tell us because it belongs to a character we don't have yet in the party. And same thing with this one. Okay. Uh, let's head back to Frontier. Actually, let me just quickly look. It was the Fossil Monkey, wasn't it? Does anybody trade me that item? Hang on. Where the hell is the Fossil Monkey in this list? Of course, when I want to look for something, it's like, yeah, we're not going to give it to you. There it is. Uh, okay, so I can trade for it. What NPCs trade? Okay, so you give it to me if it's an overtrade. Who gives it to me normally? Okay, this particular knot punk can actually give it to me normally. And they are located around the shopping street. From around 9 to... Let's set it roughly around 12. As long as I can get a fossil monkey so I can keep it in my inventory so when I do the collectopedia. There we go. You can trade it for me. Give me that fossil monkey, and I will give you a mushroom. There we go. Now I have it for my collectopedia. Anyway, we had a quest we have to speak yes. to, I believe it's like... Oh, I hate shopping. At times like these, I wish my brother pawn was here. He's just a kind brother pawn, always helping me out. Ooh, speaking about people, before I look for one of the two girls, I think I might... Ow. Can I invite this snow pawn over here yet? Is he not out? Where is he? Yeah, because I thought there was a no pond down here screaming like, Oh, my food's not that bad. Da -da 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 -da. The one, but I want to check to see if I can ask this no pawn to come to the village. It's like, yeah, he's just nowhere to be found. Are you serious? Oh, 
Okay, so he must be a nighttime NPC then, because there's this guy. Puka Puka is proud gourmet food critic with, with a tongue like no other. But Puka Puka tasting skills are not really needed here in village. That's why Puka Puka want to move to Colony 6. Not many people there yet. So maybe they need a gourmet food critic above anything else. Can I not ask you to go there yet? When do I can ask you to go? Alright, this is what I'm gonna look up because like I know I can send him to Colony 6, it's just for some reason he's not going. Like, do I need to further the colony more before I can even start inviting people? <laughs> Is there a quest about inviting people that I just forgot about that teaches me this and I just don't and I just don't remember it off the top of my head? Like, why can I not ask him to move to Colony 6? Anyway. Nope, that's not the right quest. So, what was, um... I need to go see Lupa. Uh, popularity. Let's chat to Peppa or Lupa. Uh, let me go look for Peppa. I forget if she's out at night or she's out during the day. Uh, let me pull out my notes. Where can I find Peppa? Like, what time is she regularly out? Uh, Peppa, where are you? From 6 to 15, so yeah, she's not out. I want to warp over. Yes! Friends know why Peppa make herself look so cute. Could you go into more detail? But Ricky thought Chok knew about everything. Ain't about everything. Not this time, Ricky. We just have to listen. Because Peppa want a certain urgent up on to tell her how cute she is. Who Peppa talking about? Friends not know. It's Liku. Wait, what? Liku looking for girlfriend? Peppa chance for love is finally here. Yes. Peppa gonna make egg Liku her prince and marry him. Better not waste any time. Peppa get a dress as ready now. Move over, Nupon girls. Peppa's found her a prince. What a, what dress? Peppa has wedding dress passed down generations of Peppa family. Peppa going to clearly fashion new dress from old wedding dress. But first, Peppa needs something. Can friends find free delicious Fang Tails from Fang? Now, now, friends stop looking at Peppa like, like, pe like Peppa Kurt Lazy. It's job of friends to find items that help Peppa find her prince. Remember, Peppa's chance of love rests with friends. So I believe with this quest, uh, if you talk to Eater Girl, they'll ask you to go get something. I believe infinity-wise, it doesn't matter who um, Liku ends up with, so I'm going to choose Peppa. Yes! Friends bring delicious, devious as bang tails. Well, is that devious or delicious? For Peppa, great. Now Peppa use tails on back of dress to look like to look like Peppa tall. Ta-da! Every Nopal man will be, be bowing, owing at how at my cute little feet. Peppa, go get her man now. Peppa, get her man. Liku never stand a chance. Next step, marriage. Oh ho, Peppa can see it now. 
Oh, Peppa's just carrying as Peppa flaps her wings down the aisle. Peppa will make a beautiful wifey pawn. No worry. No worry about the rumor that she's very scary when angry. Okay. Oop, that is Melia. I want to avoid her. That's Tazu. So sleepy head. Where is Lupa? Because I need to speak to her. When Liku told old Kaju our family get bigger, she very ha she get very happy. All thanks to friends. Uh, where's Lupa? Where in the village is she? Uh, let's see, Lupa. Oh, she's out at night. That's why I can't find her. Ooh, you have a quest. Kika want to start our, our the no palm warrior training we do in Makna. Do friends know why I do not uh, I'd really want to do it? Could you go into more detail? Yes, this could be interesting. I train Rika I train Riku to fight. Alright, that's how strong I am. Uh, Rika Riku uh, Ricky But but Machna monsters, I just cannot handle them. So we need to f defeat five Inferno Donoses and five Plasma Donoses. They're everywhere, so they're not that hard to find. Fighting monsters, no problem for our motto, except lizards. They are scary. Get it in the way of me training in Kaju. Ooh, to become great fighter, go get them. Those monsters are called Inferno Dimos and Plasma Dimos. Bash ten together. Five of each monster. If friends can bash that many, I feel safe training Kacha. No problem, leave it to me. If Shou can put this, can put his mind to it, Ricky know he succeeds. I'm relying on you too, Ricky. Right, so we'll go do that in a little bit. Let's just go and turn in this quest to Lupa, and then we'll go dinosaur hunting. You met my Grampy Pawn? That's fantastic. I'm happy to hear he's well. Glad everything worked out. Grampy Pawn, uh, Satata spoke out about secret of Magna. I will find out truth behind those secrets. I'm glad Grampy Pawn Satata is well. I will carry out his work and discover the secret of Magna. So let's go to Machna Forest and beat up some dinosaurs. So yeah, I believe the infernal ones are more commonly around here. While the plasma ones are, I think are a bit further in in the forest if I remember correctly. Oh no, you can find the plasma ones here as well. Ricky like fighting easy monsters. Backslash you. Not bad, not bad. I can see this isn't pushing you at all. There we go, not a monster ahead. Take this. We win. 
I was thinking I swear the plasmas ones are more commonly out at night and the inferno ones are more commonly out during the day. Honey Rubba Dubba. <laughs> That's an interesting item name. Okay, I'm beginning to think that the plasma ones are out at night and the inferno ones are out during the day. I'll finish up with the plasma ones then, change the time of day. can even find another one. Nope on arch. There's some quad wings. Where the hell is a dinosaur? I can't do the dinosaur if there's no dinosaurs spawning. Oh no, so the Inferno ones can... Are the Inferno ones more common in that area in the day then? Theodore? Time to bash you. Not bad. Not, Not bad, bad at all. Gravel this. Mighty hero cross. I can see that you're in pain. <laughs> Nothing can beat Ricky. Dunban, you're embarrassing Ricky. Right now, just to hunt down the infernos. Not bad. Not bad at all. Victory to Ricky! Ooh, that is lovely lighting. Is that? Oh, yeah, it's coming from the ether crystals. That is. I really love the lighting that ether crystal is producing. Yeah, let's look at that. That is so beautiful. Oop, there's one over here. Now you don't immediately die to a backslash. Just need to find two more of the Inferno. <laughs> I bet you do, Ricky. Over. I can see this isn't pushing you at all. Everyone do good. Everyone do good. We just need to find one more inferno and then we can complete the quest. Let's just warp here, that way the ones behind me will respawn. At least they should have. There we go. Now we defeated them. Now we just need to report the quest in. Let's look around for him. 
Oh, please, out during the night. Now I'm gonna have to change time again. There he is. Thank you, ooh, hero upon and friends. I sense the winds of victory blowing through Machna. Glad everything worked out. We did a good job. Let's dance. Dance, Nopon, dance. A Nopon dance. I wonder what what that would go like. Now I need e to make training plan for Kachi. Time to produce not, time to produce next hero upon. Kaju, time to start your warrior training. You're definitely going to be the future hero upon. I'm still getting stronger. And with that, I think we'll end the episode here. In the next episode, I think we might finally progress. So we'll go see Melia, maybe do one or two more quests. And then, yeah, try to progress the story. So if you enjoyed this episode, do you like the video as Ricky does that cute little dance? And... Alright, so leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this episode. And share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. And I'll see you all next time. Later.